Welcome back, one and all, to Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, we had, after the school festival had ended, we had received word that Gorelia Fortress had been completely destroyed. Well, I guess putting destroyed kind of undersells what happened. Yeah. That's, that's pretty heavy. Right now we need to go find Pro and Milliam, who are probably going to be somewhere in Trista. But first, let's go check the Student Union Building and the Engineering Building. Toa probably has something for me. Yeah, Toa. Are you okay? Oh, Reen. I figured I could find you here. Yep. The student council will be passing out radios for every classroom. So I'm trying to figure that out at the moment. Yeah, there there's gonna be a radio broadcast basically explaining what's going on. This is getting heavy. Are you guys really planning heavy. on listening to the Chancellor's statement too? Yeah. How could we not? He's supposed to be addressing the entire country after all. Yeah. Whatever it's about. It's going to be something big. I don't think anyone could have imagined the relationship between Crossbell and Erebonia going south like this. I sure hope Angie's okay. What with all of this political turmoil right now. Yeah, not to mention that her family's kind of involved in it. Toa. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm the student council president. I need to stay focused on what's going on right here, right now. Angie would laugh at me if she could see me getting distracted over her anyway. Yeah. That's right. We've got to focus on getting through this. Still, don't try to take on more than you can handle. I'm not the only one ready to give you a hand if you need it. Will do. <laughs> Thanks. Oh yeah, why were you looking for me in the first place? Right. I almost forgot. Do you have any idea where Crow might have gone? Crow? Hmm. Nope. I'm afraid not. He didn't mention that he had to go anywhere when I talked to him yesterday, at least. Was yesterday the last time you saw him? Yeah. He was giving me back some of the stuff he'd borrowed from me since graduation's getting so close. That was nice of him, but then he gave me everything he borrowed from Angie, too. <sighs> it's only polite to give back the stuff you borrowed in person. Now it's more work for me. Well, that's a very crow thing to do. Yeah, it well, really is. Well, I'll keep asking around and find out if anyone knows where he's gone. Sounds like a good idea. Oh, but make sure you're back in your classroom by noon, okay? Of course. It's like, seriously, this Erebonia and this whole continent are on the brink of a civil war. Oh, they're on the brink of a full-scale war with the Republic next door. Hey, George. Georgie. George! I still can't believe there's a weapon out there powerful enough to level Gorelia Fortress like that. I didn't think you could get much more powerful than those railway guns. Yeah, having seen the railway guns in person, I can hardly believe it myself. Well, the railway guns are more just a long-range artillery than anything. There are rumors that whatever that weapon is, it's managed to fend off the armored division several times, too. Still, I can't help but wonder what the Chancellor's gonna say in his national address. Whatever it is, I have a feeling that it's going to shake up some things around here. This is a military academy, after all. Who knows? We might even see active duty. Even as an engineer, I doubt they'd make an exception for me. They need somebody to work on the vehicles. Could be that my lazy days tinkering with horrible bikes are numbered. Oh, don't say that, George. Well, no point stressing out too much about the future till we're there. 
didn't mean to be a downer about it. Go on and listen to the broadcast, but don't worry yourself too much. This country may go through a lot in the coming years, but ultimately, we have a say in our future. That's a good way to look at it. I don't want to look away from what's happening. We have to be aware of our present to take charge of our future. But anyway, you wouldn't happen to know where Crow is, would you? He hasn't shown up to class today. Crow? Uh, can't say that I do. He came by yesterday with a box of things he'd borrowed from me, but he never mentioned having any plans today. Dang. Anyway, I'll keep asking around to see if anyone else knows where he is. Well, knowing Crow, he's probably just wandering around somewhere. Just keep looking around and I'm sure you'll run into him. Will do. Maybe he's just right outside. I mean, that'd be pretty serendipitous, but it's by kid happen. I'm gonna go check Trista. Maybe he's having a cup of coffee or something. Okay, so they're gonna be on campus somewhere. Maybe the old schoolhouse? Oh, there's Ferris and Elisa. I never thought I'd see Ferris being nice to Elisa. Yeah. <laughs> and that sounds about like Leucis, just to say fuck you to his father. His father's not a very good person, if you couldn't tell. Maybe they're in the gymnasium. But if I had to wager a guess, they're gonna be at the old schoolhouse. No, they're not in here. Annabelle and Kenneth doing a little fishing. There's Fee. Fee's just worrying about her gardening. Well, that's my only guess is they're at the old schoolhouse. Nothing out of the ordinary has happened here in the old schoolhouse ever since that night. We kind of ended up pushing it to the back of our minds, what with the way things have been going in Crossbell. Huh? It's unlocked. I wonder if someone's already inside. George is in the engineering building right now, so it can't be him. If any of the students just idly wandered in here, they'd be in real danger. I should probably take a look inside, just in case. I checked around inside of the old schoolhouse, but there didn't seem to be anyone around. But all the same, I didn't want a chance leaving anyone down there, so I decided to check the seventh floor. And warp right in. Oh, there's Milliam. That mechanized armor. Milliam? Oh, Reem! Come to take a sneak peek, too? <sighs> Is this where you've been the whole time? You do know we have class, right? Oh. Dang, I knew I was forgetting something. Well, class has been cancelled until further notice. <clears throat> Honestly. So, what's piqued your interest? Other than the mecha 
It doesn't look like this thing has anything in common with their Hmm. I don't know. I can't shake the feeling that it might, at least a little. Not the same, but like they share some kind of underlying principle. I've got no idea what you're talking about. I guess you wouldn't really understand without being connected. But now it makes sense why Gramps asked me to keep an eye on this place, though. I had no idea there'd be something this cool down here. Wait a minute. Are you talking about Chancellor Osborne? Did he know there was something like this here? He must have had a hunch. Not really sure. He just asked me to keep an eye on the building itself. And said to let him know if anything unusual happened. Like... A force field? And this? Whoopsie! That was supposed to be confidential. Who's really gonna... Well... I'd say who's gonna believe me, but I guess everyone watching this video would. So, the Chancellor has an interest in our quaint old schoolhouse, does he? Quaint is a good word for it. We did just find out that Captain Claire is a Thor's graduate, but... Hey, what you thinking about? Say, Milliam... Was investigating the old schoolhouse the reason you enrolled at the academy? Mmm, well, sorta, but it was more of a side thing. There was a more important reason, but that kinda stopped being a concern. So I guess it's just this now. What's the other reason? Something more important than this? Not sure what she's getting at. Doesn't sound like she's trying to hide something important from me, though. Oh yeah! It's almost time for Graham's speech, isn't it? I guess I should head back and listen to him drone on. Oh, so you already knew about that. We were all planning to listen in the classroom. Sweet! I'll just listen with you guys then. What are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> Nothing keeps you down for long, does it? Oh, yeah. You haven't seen Crow around anywhere, have you? Huh? Nope. Is he cutting class too? Well, he's probably just hiding out somewhere on campus. None of the others have seen him, though. Crow is a little capricious. I wonder if he went into town. Huh, maybe. Wanna try looking around Trista? I'll come with you. Sounds like a good idea. If he's not on the school grounds, chances are he's somewhere in town. He might just be having a coffee. All right, let's see if we can find him. I'm not really one for coffee myself. Just not. Not really my thing. The closest thing I'll have is a frap from Starbucks, and even I'm not even cr that crazy about those. They're just. The best way to describe it is the, the least coffee thing in a coffee shop. I'm not one for coffee. Gotta remember, I have this nifty little fast travel. Okay, so are we gonna track down Crow? Might as well. I guess we should start with the dorms first. Maybe Sharon knows where he's gone. Okie dokie! My turn! Oh, I wasn't expecting to see either of you back so early. Welcome home! Hello again, Sharon. We're back! seems all of your classes have been cancelled today. I heard from Lady Sarah that you would be remaining on the campus, though. Well, that was the plan. Say, Crow hasn't been back here, has he? Master Crow? Well, actually, he just returned a short while ago. Oh, he did? Indeed. However, I don't believe he stayed long. It seems he was here just long enough to go to his room, then he left again. Sounds like we just missed him. Maybe he forgot something here and came back to pick it up? Hmm, I don't know. Should we check his room just in case? Yeah, might as well while we're here. <laughs> well, if you need anything, just let me know. I think Crow might be I've in Iron Blood. Or at least somehow connected to them. It's. everything's gone. Hmm. Looks like he did go out then. Still, don't you think his room's awfully... tidy? I mean, for Crow. 
Well, he was supposed to be moving out of here fairly soon. He must have been doing some cleaning. Anyway, it's almost noon. I guess we just have to head back to the classroom empty-handed for now. Yep, it's almost time for Gramps' speech. Still, I wonder where Crow went. Yeah. There's nowhere else around here I haven't checked, is there? They said that like it's a reminder, but I'm not getting any indication. And a story important quest location would be marked in red. Oh, it's you. Patrick? Patrick, what are you doing here? I thought you would have gone back home. Well, we don't have any classes today, so I was just resting in my room. Sure, I've been told to return home. Repeatedly at this point. But as a member of the Four Great Houses, what dignity would I have were I to turn tail and run home at a time like this? Especially considering their involvement. Don't underestimate me, Schwarzer. Oh, wow. Wouldn't dream of it. Is Class 1 planning on listening to the National Address, too? We are. Personally, I can't stand the man, but we are in the middle of a national crisis. Those of us who elected to remain at the Academy are having a radio set up to hear the broadcast together. Ah, uh, right. You've got some strange classmates, though. Especially that second year. I know Heimdall's not all that far from Trista, but I'm not sure why he'd bother going to hear the speech in person. That explains what are you talking gone? about? That crow fellow. I met him outside the station this morning. Huh, really? Oh, he didn't tell you? When I inquired, he said he wanted to hear the Chancellor's speech in person. Huh, I wouldn't have expected him to suddenly take an interest in politics. Well, at least we know where he went now. Hmm. I haven't a clue what you're babbling on about. Anyway, it's almost noon now. Shouldn't you be running along? You'll miss the broadcast. Oh, yeah, you're right. Let's get going, Milliam. Everyone else is waiting in the classroom. Okay. I think that was the only pleasant encounter with Patrick. Well, at least as pleasant as you can get with Patrick High Arms. I'm just going to continue because it doesn't seem like there's much of a reason to save and end here. I've only been going 18 minutes. The clock's about to strike noon in Heimdall, with the Chancellor set to take the stage for his national address. With the situation in Crossbell and the destruction of Gorelia Fortress still fresh in the national consciousness, the message he has today will undoubtedly shape the future of Erebonia and with it, our lives. A reporter is joining us now, live from Dreykel's Plaza. Sounds like he's about to start. Mm. Oh, I hate this. I've got butterflies in my stomach. This is Misty, coming to you live from Heimdall. Huh? Why is Misty... Oh, it's the host from Oppentine. At least that's a reassuring voice to hear at a time like this. How? Emma? What's wrong? The, the woman talking on the radio, she's... You all know her? Who, Misty? Of course. She hosts the radio show Aubin Time every Sunday night at 9. I've seen her out and about in Trista, too. She always looks so fashionable. Though, considering Aubin Time is broadcast by Radio Trista, it makes sense that's where she'd be. Huh? Do you know her or something? The Chancellor's standing at the podium, and it looks like he's about ready to begin. Does she recognize her voice? Let's hear what he has to say. Citizens of Heimdall, fellow countrymen, Erebonians far and wide, I thank you for your attention. I am Gileath Osborne, your chancellor and the acting representative of the Imperial government.
are the tanks necessary? It's a show of power is all it is. We stand today in the face of an uncertain future. All of you, I'm sure, are aware of what has transpired in recent weeks. Crossbell, our erstwhile province, has defiantly declared its independence. I say go for it. And as its parting shot, frozen the assets entrusted to them by the hard-working men and women of Erebonia. That is a power play. Simply put, we won't unfreeze your assets until our independence is ratified. As we have moved to safeguard our national interests, armed conflicts have broken out on our borders. Our enemies point to this as an example of Erebonian aggression, but nothing could be further from the truth. We acted in accordance with our duties as a colonial power. All we have done, we have done as is our sovereign right. A nation has a right to defend its borders. Especially considering your enemy in the Calvert Republic doesn't like you. The Imperial Hand may be firm, but it is fair. These traitors, however, have shown the world that they are neither. Right. With an unknown weapon of mass destruction, they have annihilated Gorelia Fortress, the stronghold that has long protected the very gates of this country. I ask you, brothers and sisters of the Empire, do we allow such an odious act to go unpunished? Do we sit idle as the pride and dignity of our great nation is spat upon and trampled underfoot? We cannot, we must not, and we will not. With blood and with iron, we shall meet out justice. Someone's gonna kill this guy, isn't he? Listen to him go. Oh, he's quite the orator, that's for sure. <laughs> Well, he's certainly not out to upend my expectations. Milliam? What are you doing? Hmm. Nope, can't get through. No surprise there, I guess. Who are you trying to call? What is all this about? Oh, it's part of my mission. The most important part, actually. If only I'd caught on a little sooner. But considering he managed to outwit Claire, Lecter, and even Gramps, I suppose Crows earned this victory. What? What does Crow have to do with this? I knew it. Huh. So that's your angle. You came because you had a potential lead on C, and you couldn't look into it from the outside. Is that it? It's C? It's Crow? No, Crow can't be C. What? As in the leader of the Imperial Liberation Front? But he's dead, isn't he? I don't think C is the type to go out like a bitch. And we never learned his identity. The Intelligence Division looked at all of C's actions so far and drew up a list of potential suspects. And one possibility we couldn't dismiss was that he had ties to this academy somehow. But after C and his cronies got blown up aboard their airship in the mine, we thought it was a moot point. Looks like we spoke too soon, though. Uh, I can't believe how bad we screwed this up. Uh, are you seriously suggesting that it's Crow? That it's been him all along? Not a chance. Crow was with us in the mine right up until he went with the miners to escort them back to the surface, right? Yeah, and then his route back ended up blocked off by a cave-in, so he wasn't able to reach us until later. B but what if he actually used another route to get there ahead of us? Then fought us wearing that masked helmet and cape. Before making it look like he boarded the airship, then sneaking back around to join the others like nothing happened. 
Madness. No one would stake their entire plan on such a precarious stunt. Perhaps we can read the evidence that way, but there are a few leaps in logic that bother me. Besides, remember when the terrorists escaped from Gorelia Fortress? We heard C talking to us. And Crow was with and you. And not just then. He was addressing us just before the airship exploded in the mine, too. That's true, on both counts. And Crow was with us the whole time during everything that went down in Gorelia. He never left our sight. Right. No mistaking it. My name is C, leader of the Imperial Liberation Front. The hammer of judgment shall fall again. I'm ready. Are you? Yeah, there's no way he could be... He could have recorded a message in advance and played it back. Oh. And the airship that exploded? It could have been controlled remotely. But who is the sniper that took out the airship? His alibi seems airtight. But once you account for things like that, it starts looking pretty questionable. Yep. And if C's still alive, that means the other ringleaders probably are too. Then right now, Crow is... Oh no. In he said Heimdall. he was headed to Draco's Plaza, didn't he? If a skilled sniper has their eye on you, you let your guard down for even a second and bang, you're dead. If he's the one who shot down the airship in the mine, then it's checkmate for the Chancellor. Crow's already won. We stand at the brink of nothing less than a national crisis. Good In such done. tumultuous times, we must set aside our differences. We must look past the ideologies that divide us. Of course, shooting a pistol is a lot different from shooting a rifle. Just because you're skilled with one does not mean you'll be skilled in the other. I have both a pistol and a rifle. Uh, a few rifles, actually. Of course, one's an antique and sits in a safe, because ammunition for it is rare, but that's not important. I will not deny the rift that has grown between the reformist and noble factions, especially in recent times. It's a Spanish Mauser from World War II, 7mm, and even though Mauser might be the most popular hunting rifle in all of Germany, it's not that popular in the United States, and ammunition is rare and expensive. $50 for just a box of for one box of shells, that's a pretty damn expensive round to shoot. But how childish, how insignificant such squabbles seem when the enemy marshals its strength beyond our borders. I have met with His Majesty the Emperor and have secured permission to embark on the course we now must. Thus, in the name of the Emperor, and as the representative of the Imperial Government, I hereby proclaim... There's the sniper, and there's C. Finish your speech in hell. No! It's, it is Crow! anticlimactic why and there's our coup de gras now just have to add the finishing touches hands in the air
Why, Crow? It really was you all along. To think, all the time we spent searching for the leader of the Imperial Liberation Front, and he was right under our noses. Kill him. Kill the son of a bitch. Crow Armbrust from the Jirai SEZ. Aww. Oh, and here I thought I'd managed to cover my tracks like a real pro. Kill him. Well, actually, now you can't because his hands are up. So, who put all the pieces together? I bet it was Arundel, wasn't it? I put the bastard down anyway. Crow, or yeah, Crow, has always had an upper hand in everything. He always has an angle. Put him down. We just received confirmation a short while ago. If you hadn't been so difficult to pin down, we would have had this investigation finished up already. How could you? How could you? You know, this really brings back the memories. It's a lot like when Jirai was annexed by the Empire eight years ago. Oh. You let your guard down, you lose. That's how your boss's favorite little game works, isn't it? His country was annexed. Well, he lost. And now he won't be playing any of his games again. Ever. He, want, he wanted revenge. You, you! Get on the ground! I don't know how you managed to plan all of this, but you'll tell us eventually. I'll see to that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. What? Still broadcasting. A large silver craft has been sighted in the sky to the south, and it seems to be headed toward the capital. But hearing a radio broadcast just isn't the same as seeing it unfold yourselves, is it? So how about I give you Thor students a special treat? Just my way of saying thanks for the fun I had at the festival. Wait, what's she talking about? Was... was she speaking directly to us just now? She's a witch. Resound, resound, O oh voice everlasting! Rend night's silent veil and reveal unto all the beautiful world! I'm getting fucking chills here. What the? Isn't that the plaza in Heimdall? This is one of the Azure Abyss's incantations, Phantasmagoria! Vita Clotilde, that the bird. That insignia, the Noble Alliance flagship. Good lord, there. Well, I guess it's time for civil war. That's where all the iron's been going to build their battleship. Those things from like in the from 
from the school. His Excellency! Better use the big guns. Okay. Fire! Uh. They're quick. Where did he... those things humanoid combat armors courtesy of Reinford's fifth development division staunch supporters of the noble alliance knights for the modern age modeled after a stunning historical example and made of hardened steel from toe to crown we call them the panzer soldats even more German comparisons comparisons excuse me but how did don't move! Sorry, I don't take orders from you. Zephyr should be able to secure Valflame Palace just fine on their own. Zephyr still But around? I've got my own score to settle. No! Why didn't you kill what? him? What? <laughs> see ya, Icy Maiden. He has one of those... Things. <sighs> Man, that was a bit of a letdown, huh? I'll give him an A for effort. But we're talking about the Imperial Capital here? <laughs> Is that the best they could muster on their home turf? They are piloted. They're not archaisms exactly. The hard part's still ahead. Duke Kyan's goons. Most of the Imperial Army's putting out fires across the country. But they'll be back soon enough now. And who knows? They might have some anti soldats countermeasures up their sleeves. <laughs> hey, anything can happen. Guess the ones to watch out for are the 3rd, 4th, and 7th Armored Divisions, huh? That's where all the iron's been going. I wonder whose side our little princess will take. And those... Things. That's for Fee to decide. Boss, one. There, Zephyr?
Splendidly done, Grianos. Clotilde of the Abyss. I see you were able to share the sweetest notes of my aria with our little friends. And there's Blue Blanc. I find myself reminded afresh of the brilliance with which you shine as the second anguis, Lady Vida Clotilde. Vast is the stage, and beauty is the performance of the Azure Abyss. <laughs> That's quite the compliment, considering your standards on beauty. Still, first the Burl, then Crossbell, and now here in Erebonia. Don't you think you're getting a little too greedy for your own good? That's mentioning the previous games, which I haven't played. Oh, your chastisement cuts deep. That's just them trying to tie everything together. We'll be proceeding with the next step of the Phantasmal Blaze plan, I presume? Hmm. Yes, indeed. The bells are tolling for Crossbell, and preparations here are complete. Still... Even this grand an undertaking is but a jewel in a greater crown. The second stage of the Orpheus' final plan. The symphony awaits us. Let the second movement commence. I think my heart stopped. What the hell? Is this really happening? Yes! It is. I'm certain of it. Phantasmagoria is an arcane art known to the Witch of the Abyss, capable of showing scenes and visions across great distances. The woman you know as Misty is... something of a sister of mine. Wait, the Witch of the Abyss? Are you saying that's who Misty really is? I feel like any moment I'm going to wake up in my bed to find I just dreamt all this. If only it was. But we have no choice but to accept that it's real. Well, I don't know how we'll have to plenty of time this. to worry about that later. Right now, we've got two more pressing concerns. The Chancellor's been shot, and Heimdall's been occupied. Oh no! I hope my father's alright. Damn! Please, let Saint Astraea be safe. That gargantuan airship. Those Panzer soldats. I have no doubts that they were bankrolled and manufactured by the noble faction. No shit, Eusis. I saw them there. My old family. All this time I never knew what happened to them. And how there they are. That's gotta be really hard on you. See. So you know those men? I remember meeting them briefly in the Grand. They're former members of Zephyr. Used to be one of the continent's strongest Jaeger Corps. It looks like the Noble Faction hired them to do their dirty work, just like the Imperial Liberation Front. On top of that... It looks like our guess about C's identity was right on the money. But I don't know what that cool blue thing was he flew off in. Crow, why did you do it? On behalf of the Student Council, I'd like to ask all of you to remain calm. That's easier said than done, Toa. I'm sure you all experienced that strange vision during the broadcast. Jesus Christ. And the principal has an announcement he'd like to make about it. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Principal Van Dyke speaking. I'm sorry to say there's a strong likelihood that what you just saw is really happening in Heimdall. However, it's important to note that we don't yet have confirmation or any official word on the situation. I'm shaking in my chair here. I'm not even kidding. I'm doing all I can to find out what's going on. But in the meantime, I ask for your patience and understanding. So all the other classes saw it too. How could she use a national radio broadcast to show something to just us and no one else? Magic. Is that even possible? Magic. For her, it is. With little difficulty at that. Yo, Sarah here. Who's Nightheart? An emergency meeting. Right away? What? Of 
course. I'll be right there. Yeah, understood. I'll meet you in front of the main gate. All right, class. I've got to step out for a bit to take care of some business. But no matter what happens, you are not to leave this building. Is that clear? I'm totally leaving the building. Something's going down in Trista. What's going on? I'm not sure, but it's obvious something strange is happening. Can this day even get stranger than it already is? What's wrong, guys? I hear something to the west, and it's getting closer. Several armored cars are approaching, and it sounds like they have some of those armored suits with them. We need the damn knight. We need that thing in the schoolhouse. You've got to be kidding. First Heimdall, now Trista. Are they planning on taking over the academy? They're planning on taking over the whole fucking country. Hmm. Sure looks that way. Notable members from both factions have kids enrolled here, and there are plenty of important people like the principal. So either they're looking to preemptively protect their own or take the others hostage. Could be either, even both. This is absurd. This is probably both. Whatever their intentions, we can't allow them to harm innocent people. Do you think that's where the instructors went? To try and fight them off? They don't stand Those a giant chance. armors tore through the army's tanks like they were nothing more than toys. Our instructors are strong, but with what they're up against, I'm worried they might not be enough. I'm not sure how much help we'd be, or if we'll even be able to put a dent in them. But right now, they need all the support they can get. They need Class 7. I'm with you. You have my sword. I didn't really wake up today planning to fight enemies that can gut a tank. None of us did. But this battle came to us, so we'll draw the line here. I'll do everything I can to defend this school and its students. Duh. I take no issue with humbling those that befoul the spirit of true nobility. Guess I'll help too. <laughs> I wonder how Lamy will match up against those giants. We haven't got a lot of time, so let's move out. All right, let's do this. Patrick, Ferris. Elisa, why are you all so flustered? What's going on? Civil War! Get out of the way! Ferris? You're still here? What in Adios's name is going on here? Your family's causing a civil war! Get the fuck out of the way! I saw the instructors leaving the academy through the front gate. Oh, they already left? Patrick, you have to stay here. You can't let them take over this building. Work with the other students as best you can. Swarza? What are they? What in Adios' name is going on? I... I heard a war started in Heimdall. Don't worry, everyone. You'll be safe here. We'll show you to the auditorium. Oh, why are you at the front gate? Get down there. the student unit building. Get back in the... Get, get back to the school buildings. Toa! George! You really think that gate's gonna stop a mech that can rip a tank in half like it's a damn goddamn Lego toy? Rain! What are you doing here? Y you aren't. You're not planning on going to help the instructors, are you? That's exactly what I'm planning. That's exactly what we're planning. <laughs> I'd bring shame to the Arsade name if I were to willingly allow such insolence and dishonor to fester. We're not gonna push our luck. But we want to give them every little bit of support we can. You can't be serious. If that video's anything to go by, you'd be going up against some seriously dangerous weapons. The chances of you overcoming a force like that is... Well, I don't even want to say. Are you really sure this is what you want to do? We are. This academy has given us a lot. We've made friends here. Learned to better ourselves. And we'll be damned if we're going to let them just take that away! You guys. Oh boy. The instructors told me not to let you past if you tried to come through here. All right. As student council president, I hereby grant you permission to head through. 
But don't forget, you're still students. This may be a military academy, but that doesn't mean you're soldiers. If you ever feel like your lives are in danger, even a little bit, you get out of there, okay? Anyone who's 18 at a military academy is therefore a cadet soldier. Run away. Surrender. Ring and then... I, I don't care what you do. Just please, please don't die out there. Okay, Reen, Laura, Gaius, Eusis, and Machias are all 17. B is 15, as is Elliot, and Elliot is, Elliot is 16. Uh, I can't what's her name. Milliam is 13. Promise me. Of course. We promise. At least make sure you've got everything you need before you go, then. I've got my tools on me, so if you guys need any last-minute modifications to your Arcus units, I'll take care of it. Okay. You're a fucking bastard, Crow. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as we approach our final battle. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.